So what is up guys, it's the Gamer Ghost here and welcome back to some more Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, in the last episode we decided to pick Nomad as our story path and we ended up meeting Jackie who is now our partner I believe. Uh, we made our way into Night City so if you missed it go back and watch episode 1. But now Jackie wants to meet with us so don't really know what he's got in store. By the way, I did try and fix some of the FPS spikes, but I'm still getting them. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can really do. Uh, okay, there we go. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later V. Trying to figure out why this isn't registering. When danger lurks, trauma team will be there. Uh, hey V, Regina Jones here. Because you're I don't know why this isn't letting me nine just nine go. Nine nine. Oh, trauma team. There it goes. Finally. Don't forget, you're worth it. All right, so let's go see what Jackie has uh, has for us. I like this. It's kind of like a little uh, flea market almost down here. Hey, yo, V. Oh, wow, and What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just <laughs> gave me a next gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? Uh. Let's go. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. Nah, <laughs> our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. The only way he communicates is with them fists. Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> Nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Uh, I don't exactly want to do too many of the side quest things. I just kind of want to solely focus on the story. Uh, so we're not nah, actually going to do today. this right now. Thanks anyway. Whatever. I'll be here. Uh, maybe we'll come back and do some of the side mission stuff, but I really just want to focus on the main story right now. Oh, I've okay. Actually, I have to hit a button. <laughs> I kind of want to know, why do they need four TVs and one elevator? Sweet, clean speed. Alright, let's go. So many people around here. It's crazy. Can we actually talk to this guy? No. Whoa. Uh, NCPD scanner hustles. Oh, that's the name of it. Uh, the NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. And fixers, these intimidaries will inform you about local gigs available. Huh? All right, cool. So just kind of giving us a uh, mm. rundown. The <laughs> Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite. Just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J.O.B. Go on. 
I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun, man. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? Of course I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but t -Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment you laid eyes on me. Oh, come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. <laughs> Alright, so what's the job? What's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. Uh, don't see why not. Uh, wait, why me? Oh, where do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a league of his own. Uh, not really know my way around fixers. Not really. <laughs> No. no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. He's really That's doing that. <laughs> well, you know. Run your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Uh, you can call your active vehicle to your current location. With that. Some right. top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. So we're finally gonna actually, I guess, be able to see Night City. And, whoa, is it big? Brainwash, nice. All right, let's go. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Hmm. Whoa, okay. FPS drops through oh, like to that's insane. Fix anyhow. I got a date. Yeah, whiskey. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really what is this song? Um, my car just stop. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me to do that. Ah, oh, cool. Finally. Exterior area. Yeah. Okay, this song's cool, I guess, but I wish I could turn it off. <laughs> Alright. Following Jackie. Jackie, oh, Jackie looks like he has such a long stride. <laughs> no, a nice city is very interesting. Hey, just walk through her. Sit tight over here. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. Watch <laughs> out what Dex is cooking. Crystal radiation. Sure, Crystal radiation. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Alright, let's go meet the Ripper Doc. Hey, Jack. 
Uh, though a common practice, cyberware installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure, which can only be performed by qualified specialist Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs. Try to say Ripper Docs three times fast. Uh, operating throughout Night City, who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Uh, select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Alright, uh, looking to upgrade. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech to perform. Huh. <laughs> The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. I definitely do not have $21,000. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Someone sure, was yelling please. over there. <laughs> Sit down, relax. Okay, now what? Kuroshi optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Oh. His hand, though. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, Jack, in. Jack in. Uh. Oh. I thought I had to say something. All right. Roshi. Thought it Whoa. would. Vic, nothing yeah. tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. All right. Let's check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Uh, cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic bot, organic parts of your body. They can give you like, they, Jesus, they can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive a hazardous condition. And then, I think we've already read that. All right, so what are we looking at in here? Uh, ocular. Uh, oh, actually, I have to click on it. Oh, we're getting some new eyeballs. <laughs> Alrighty. And some new hands. Ballistic compressor. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Just from replacing your hands? Okay. Mark one, like I said, decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Oh, okay. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. This is crazy. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Man, I would not be willingly say carve away. <laughs> Lay that major league arm of yours right here. 
Uh, what's new in the life of Victor? So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Uh, now, a good bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? <laughs> really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Dude, man's taking out our eyeball. I don't know how I feel like feel about getting my eyeball removed. Doesn't sound very comfortable. Okay, let's test this. Sounds See the magic <laughs> in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? What is this thing doing to my hand? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Uh, scanning people with your protocol, uh, protocol, optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemy. Time for the scanner. Huh. It might take you a few seconds to adjust. First time's rarely the charm, with no. anything, really. My Scanner nose is... should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. A uh, database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify them identify these I try and read really fast uh, wanted persons with your scanner since all are wanted dead or alive the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you <laughs> all right. it ought to work like a charm now draw your weapon you should see your ammo count in a brand new site cool how about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Uh... I just normally go and default to the blue because it's more dialogue. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. All right, the question and once is... You hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. The, the question is, what did he do with my uh, previous up, eyeball? Idiot. It's taking so long. <laughs> Come on, punch him. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. You know, every last fighter's got extra skull line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this. 
Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Uh... <laughs> Want to pay off my debt? <laughs> How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. All right, let's go. That was cool. I didn't actually expect to be able to talk to him after he did that for us. Oh, what was that? Oh, we can pet the cat. <laughs> What's up, kitty cat? I'm just exploring a little bit. Oh, what's in here? I don't necessarily want to go anywhere. I don't want to stray too far from the story. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. All right, so we get to go meet Dex. Or rather, not only you. Can we talk to these people? Oh. What's wrong? V, hey, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Uh, there are various ways to ink. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. Uh, there are various ways to ink. Inc yeah, you know, enemies without killing them. Incapacitate. I. Guys, I don't know what's going on with me. Anyways. Let's see who the stop. Or Dex fella is. Yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. This man has replaced you his whole arm. You something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Man, this man is like talking without opening his mouth. Uh, how they remember you, that's all that counts. Mr. Nobody's don't survive in Night City. Uh, this is some sort of test. Let's play it pretty chill. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Yeah, his mouth isn't moving. <laughs> all right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab on. Uh, the job, tell me more. Why meet me? Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And sweet... Hello? Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. 
Uh, the job. Tell me more. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. The job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Uh, that's a death sentence. Uh, nothing at all. Let's keep it pretty cool. Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Uh, Maelstrom, what's the issue? Client, tell me about her. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jack is only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave to you. All right, uh, well, what's the issue with the What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot and shot. Oh. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the Flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up oh, her wow. ass ain't growing <laughs> any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it now. Uh, know all I need, I think. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. All right, we're back. Kinda. This is definitely not where we started. Uh, performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. All right, so basically, if you pick the street kid, you would already be pretty nice to talk to Dex. Yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Uh, he was out of, he was, he was out to work me over. Uh, wants to check us, see if we got what it takes. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. Uh, how about a little something to get those taste buds tingling? Uh, the biochip in question is in fact the so-called relic, a uh, Nova tier piece of tech catering 
the top 1%, supposedly the best life insurance money can buy, you and I are going to be neck deep in eddies. Alright. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, Royce, know anything about him? You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, check. Alright, we gotta, like, totally turn this radio off. Checks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Uh, let's see what's up with this Maelstrom. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Oh. All right. So I was just literally just driving around. Go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Oh, uh, we still got some time to kill. So, I don't know. Let's see what some some of these things are. Let's explore Night City a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm still stuck down. What is this? A sale? What are we selling? Oh, okay. So basically, just kind of like a spot where you could sell. Veterans and change. Here. All hey. yours. Uh, well, I saw good and you. God bless. Uh, got no home, sick kid, and cheating wife. Need booze money ASAP. You're just gonna waste it? Huh. Okay. Well, that was interesting. So time goes by not extremely fast in this game, it appears. So I have no idea what to actually do. Um. Okay, let's go meet with Jackie. Instead. Nice city is huge. It's very compact though, it seems. This is our first chance of actually getting to explore Night City. Oh, I, I, I missed my turn. Don't mind me. Um, new driver here. <laughs> My car is bouncing like there's no tomorrow. Jeez. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I wonder what the little red circles are. Are they like takeover spots or something? Alright, we're back. I think this is actually where we started. <laughs> oh, we got our car. Alright, we should be close. Yeah, here we are. Let me hear what you squared away. What's up, Jackie? Uh, there you are. Uh then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. I don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. Uh... What's the word on T-Bug? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? 
He's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Aaron already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Uh, been waiting long. Been waiting long. Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... Alright. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Uh, we'll buy it off of them. This game has given me so many options to use money that I don't have. <laughs> that this will go smoothly. That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. We're strong. We survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Uh, onward. Let's go see these <laughs> bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. What's... Oh, there's a big factory right next to us. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? Hey, I'm walking here. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Call Militech Go Agent on. Meredith. Let them know we're here. Wait, hold on. We can call somebody apparently. Does anything Stop. happen? Start by telling me how you got this number. Ring a ding ding, Joel. No Gotta get this done. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Uh, let's meet up. Cut a deal. Ring a ding ding, Joel. No, no, Gotta no get more. this done. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal. Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. You what you waiting for? All right. Uh, yeah, we're we're just gonna do this. <sighs> Don't know you. Just open the fucking door. <laughs> yeah, you make a fucking appointment. Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. That's funny. I don't think you can actually. Even if you say something bad, I don't think you can actually ruin what'll happen next. There's a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots or dead meat. So what are these? These little things that just keep appearing. And Cyper, Cyper, yeah. Big words can't pronounce. Uh, military mine. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Huh. Subtle. Glad there was something there to break the silence because I totally didn't know what to say. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I kind of straight off path, it seems. No, nope, pick it up. I don't know what any of this does, but hopefully it'll come in useful later. Alright, you chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. So what do you want? Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT zero D one two, called the Flathead. And 
the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. Sit on couch. Oh, sit on the couch. Sure, why not? Jesus. Well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Say your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jesus, Jack, what gives? Primerito, I don't like this guy's tone. Segundo, sitting on your ass makes you an easy target. Say your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? Skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. So what is this like? Futuristic drugs? Sure. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> now we can talk. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT Zero D twelve. Ah. Militech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck 'em. They can hop around and try. We we'll removed the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Uh, show it to me. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimp down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, down oh, I can't. Up ceilings. Look over. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Uh, Raven isn't the dedicated control user. Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I uh, really expect me to play. <laughs> well, You're I definitely got the money. Come on. <laughs> can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Ah, uh, prepare to offer us a discount. Seems you already got the eddies for it. You want to offer us a discount? Big one. A discount? Fuck. Uh, you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Definitely can't take him down. So you gonna consider my offer now? You're fucking dead! Oh! Okay, so, um, yeah, we should totally, uh, pick an option. I mean, yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Let's try that again. The Lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. Right. <laughs> Let's actually do this correctly this time. <laughs> no, he's a 
alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Uh. Bang. Oh! Bring it, cocksuckers! Caught me a rat! A load on a beat! A Oh. How much health does this man have? He's okay. Uh, uh, you just received an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves their level and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Quick. Wait, so we can go ahead and throw that on? Ah, power weapons allow you to control the direction of a bullet. The direction of bullet ricochets if you have ballistic compressor, cyberware, and trajectory. Uh, generator mod. All right. Not trying to do too much reading here. Uh, is that an arm? That's an arm. Just laying on the ground. Uh, sign a grenade to combat. All right. Uh, I'm trying to make sure we got everything. I think we picked up a bigger gun. Which? How do we? Is it inventory? Weapon. Okay, here it is. There we go. Now we got an epic for what? Wait, I think we got some, like a jacket too. Yeah. This thing. There we go. Now we're looking nice. Alright, I believe. Wait. Okay, I'm doing all kinds of things. Okay, yeah, the grenades. Yeah, okay. Our things are back. There we go. Gotta say. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Let's get out of cool, here. Oh, some more help. Dying for some fresh air. All right, I'm just following you, Jackie. Or right, you're following me. Okay. I could have failed his feet. Ah, I could taste it. Right. It's a production line. Um, Plus, I thought you loved me. Jacket, no way. Jacket, where'd you go? Oh, he went up there. Okay. That makes sense. Through here? I'm so confused. Oh. I forgot I actually have to do things. <laughs> Oh, I... that's weird. <laughs> Wait, there's something right here. Uh... Okay, more health. Alright, um... What's the, what's the plan, Jackie? What's the move? Devastating Berserk? All right, not sure what it does. Oh, I want to get the camera. Might have to move over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for it to actually. Uh. Oh, he's gonna see me too. Dang it. Uh, deactivate. Dang it. I'm trying to be super sneaky about this. So I think when he comes around. Okay, let's go now. Okay, the camera's not gonna see me. He was gonna notice me. There we go. Uh oh. I gotta go back up. 
Ow. Camera. Ow! Dang it! I'm on fire. Oh, you're Jack. Hi, Jack. Jesus. I'm about to die again. Oh! Is it you? Things are happening. So much is happening. I guess I don't really need to use that so much. Jackie's on fire. Okay, got him. Whoa. Uh, E9. And then E9 again. Okay, I don't know what that did. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that'll take care of you. Hi. There we go. Take another grenade. I'm trying to cover, saying cover so much. Oh. There we go. Uh, more ammo. I don't want to die, so I'm probably flying through my health way more than I should. Uh oh, cameras. I guess it really doesn't matter. There's no more enemies down here. Jackie, you're in my way. What are you doing? Okay, never mind. <laughs> nice of you to show. Okay, there's some stuff here though. I don't know what any of the. I'm just grabbing it going. Uh, what are you? Shotgun ammo? We don't actually have a shotgun. There's so much stuff in here. Like, I'm able to pick up food and everything. Alright, I... They can get me through the cameras if I'm not careful. Just throw that over there. Got him. Okay, they're just kind of poking their heads over, over there. Oh, we're out of ammo. I think we're just out of ammo and everything. Let's throw this over there. I don't like grenades. Okay, got him. Ow! Uh, what is happening? All right, I'm gonna go back around. There we go. No, you don't. What the hell? Right, there's not many of them left. He might be the last one. No, there's one up there. Okay. Hip fire. Hip fire is pretty decent. Decent enough where 
I'm not missing every shot if I do it. Alright, um... Probably need to get more ammo for my assault rifle. What is this? Can actually interact with that. Right, and then... Alright, more pistol ammo. Oh wow. Those shots did so much damage. Cool. Do I have more ammo for my other guy? Alright, I do. Let's see that pretty face plate. Alright, now we can be sneaky. Alright. Totally didn't Okay, there we go. No! You see me? But you die! There we go, finally. Okay, got him. Oh, there's a, uh... Oh, I, I hate the fact that... Uh-oh. I hate the fact that there's... A, like, your hands are in the middle. You don't go from your... Yeah. That makes sense. Like, you go from your assault rifle to your hands to your pistol. Jackie, you're in my way. Yeah, I'm missing all my shots. Yeah, like that. Instead of just going straight to your pistol. There we go. Oh wait, I I know why it happens. Okay. We can get out of here. Oh, I like this guy's gun. All right, let's get out of here before I die. It's just the cameras. Uh, what do you got on you? What? Oh, I was hoping we could play that. Alright, let's actually get out of here. This man is stuck in the door. Oh, jeez, man. Um... Is there anything I can use? Now where are you hiding? Nowhere. Oh, you're an enemy. I am probably being a lot more noisy than I need to be. But it's fine. It's more fun to have all out gunfights. Okay, if I could shoot. I didn't want to use all my assault rifle ammo there. Oh, that hurt. We're out of nades. Go back to this halt rifle. I don't like I said. I don't have much ammo, so I'm not wanting to use it all. All right, let's get around to his side. Well, it'd be nice if I didn't miss. 
There we go. Do you have any ammo for me? No, you got health though. There we go. We got another gun. I want to switch over to it. I think. Did we? Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Better gun. That was nice. They weren't that challenging. Whoa, that's a big gun. I'm gonna take it, cause it's a big gun. <laughs> Come on, V. Let's get out of here. Ah, back out to Night City. So now what, Jackie? Let's actually just go ahead and heal ourselves all the way back out. No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. <laughs> nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. The city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. So it will. <laughs> you know, you can make heaps more Eddies as a motivational speaker. What a dig way. <laughs> what now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. We do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. <sighs> Ducked in time to avoid death sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate, even though we get to do that lot. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Jackie just ran me over. <laughs> How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. <laughs> That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Mark will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Uh, so, uh... Okay, the bar's behind us. Quick, Yui! Alright, but yeah, the, the gun fight isn't... Or the gun... Gun mechanics aren't that bad. Uh, the aim assist is somewhat high. I kind of just left it how it was. But pretty much all you have to do is uh, constantly aim and unaim, and then just sit there and hold down the trigger pretty much, because it'll automatically log on to or lock onto them. So the gunfighting is pretty easy. I might end up lowering the aim assist a little bit, but it is quite nice. It does help tremendously with gunfights. All right, we're. Here at Lizzie's bar. Talk to the bouncer. Uh, did I get here at the wrong time or something? There's no one actually here. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Whoa. The FPS is, uh, dying. 
What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's signups. Think you can handle it? Uh, yeah, I think we have to to get in anyways. Spoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. <laughs> Have fun, input. All right, so. Okay. Oh, what's this? The Max. Are these? My, what a sweet little face you have. Just backs away slowly. <laughs> oh, wow. This is pretty cool. But if you guys haven't already noticed, I'm not playing with ray tracing on. Just because recording and hey. playing kind of strains my computer. Get you something. So curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot all in all. Uh, good old days. I like stories about them. Ah, stories of the golden Almost days. Almost fail. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. All what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stick up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. All right, well, anyways. Uh. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Oh, a big tipper. Name's V. She and I have a uh, <laughs> date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Well, yeah, what's up? Oh. Evelyn Parker. <laughs> Didn't realize. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Let's drink some tequila. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Uh, let's talk shop the contract. Uh, let's go with this since it we actually have to spend something. Maybe it'll get us somewhere. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My I man's already got a buzz. <laughs> Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like really? you do? What the hell? <laughs> this game has got some... Yeah. Oh, nice. 
great room. <laughs> now what? Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Uh, don't know him well, haven't worked together long. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm the best. You don't care what Dex thinks. V? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? <laughs> no, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? I like using these because I feel like there's something most people aren't going to choose. So I like I like these. V? You writing Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Got any doubts ring Dex? Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh, nope. Out of my price range. Never had the opportunity. You know, go that one. Just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Well, that face might imply. <laughs> uh, let's see what's up, what's up your sleeve. Uh, yeah, that word. Got you know, an army around him, I bet. Seriously, he's v? my target. Uh, Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City? And a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Uh, seriously, he's my target. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Uh, let's see what's up your sleeve. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Uh, Netwatch something doesn't add up. Uh, wait, mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. 
Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Uh, so... I don't know if I should read these out just because the person's going to say it right after. Let's just kind of get so to the no point. No one security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away its secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Whoa. Provided we're done gossiping about the Atasakas. Uh, what's on this relic? One more Let's kind of figure that out. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Uh, what else do you know? What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. A uh, risky move with the biochip. Maybe he's just got a taste for power. Could Go be another one. power hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Uh, okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, it can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Alright. Gotta follow her. So a brain dance. Huh. Mm. Would what? you like you anything just else? Like you say. I, uh, yeah, it's yeah I'm ready. I have no idea what this is about to be about, or what this is about to be like. Because mm. everything in this game is based off of something, but very futuristic. So. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why you object? Uh, so you know. Yeah, personally, or no, no objections. It's supposed to be your Nobu's pad on the tape means you were inside you know each other how else could I get all this intel I know him pretty well actually we have an arrangement strictly business suits us both I think let's see this brain dance Judy will help she's a mox too besides we go back uh, years V this is important. Judy's always been there for me. I understand. Always helped out. I trust yeah. her. Sorry, but she's a mox. Not the latest I'll do whatever I can to fix it. Try not to forget. So, 
You'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Uh -huh. But Wax, believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Huh. <clears throat> Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. <laughs> Quite the setup. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm hmm. Analyzers, sensory sig and. Acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your beauty yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. All right, so what is happening? Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. Huh. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can take it. No, never so raw about it. That's that one. <laughs> what do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. All right, sure. This should be quite interesting. I have no idea what a brain dance is. Uh, okay, uh, you know, as I'm saying it, I kind of feel like I kind of know, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Create your sensory profile first. Okay, profile away. What profile? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. <laughs> now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Oh, that's weird. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the <laughs> orgasms? <laughs> More like cut out all the other shit. Bucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds want to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things. Mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh... <laughs> What'd you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. 
real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearing. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Whoa, so this is like futuristic VR in a way. I have no idea what to expect. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. So this is like watching a video, but being the character in said video. Dad, video game, I everybody. guess. Everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, hey. Uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Whoa. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Hey, what up, girl? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, that was too much. Could have warned me. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. Uh, back in we go. So basically, this you can feel everything the character feels. I'll send I guess. A link to the BD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Full scene of yours. Full cam control in analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control oh. playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try oh, wow. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Can I, can I, it back to the top. All right, so am I restarting all of Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing like the how far are we fast forwarding? Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. A hold. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything. All right, did he? Blast. Did he already hand him the gun? Oh, wait. Go back. Okay, on you go. Okay, oh, wait, there right we go. Here. Oh, I thought he had already handed it to him. Um, bold sections on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence if the editor is set to the correct layer. Uh, clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright after okay uh after being successfully scanned clues disappear from the track excellent let's move on now heads up in analysis mode you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough this tech records everything every little detail even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of to see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. 
Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Oh, that's cool. Good little let's do the door. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sounds, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. All right, so hold up. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. All right. The grab. What I see you kissing the flooring. Money. Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm flying around. Uh, oh wait. Does that work? All right, next okay, thing. Go. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, we will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Whoa, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess we could fast forward it. See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Wait, hold up. Who shot him? My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in oh. a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screens in the kids' field of vision. Then scan it. Okay, I probably... Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, back into editing mode. I was thinking I could probably do this from his view. This is definitely different. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Alright, cool. I don't think there's a whole lot left to actually do in there. It was literally all just to show how to control it. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. All right, cool. What up, T-Bug? Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, Judy, Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisecond. Okay, 
Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. There we go. It's such a bright screen. Jeez. All right, so we're investigating. Ivy, eyes open. Gotta find out where your nobles keeping the relic. You're oh. like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she, I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no, they'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. All right, uh, got to change back. All right. I uh, gotta figure it out. Okay, there we go. Finish. All right, actually. All right, there we go. Okay, I gotta actually. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult desperate. Oh, I think I have to stay near her. Removed from reality. I don't know. <laughs> Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world. That no longer exists of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know right. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Uh the visual layer. Can you... Okay, uh, so we gotta rewind. Okay, there it is. There we go. Oh, wait, he may have locked it. Or something like that. Maybe not. Oh, I seen it right there. Is he gonna unlock it? No. It's not giving me. Oh wait, cause I'm in the. Okay, there we go. Manual details a special tip control container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. There we go. Uh, so we got land. I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm looking for. Well, I do, but, you know. Oh, wait, maybe we have to go back. Oh, wait. There's something around here. Possibly. Oh, okay, up there. I didn't see it. Conditioning standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. All right, let's just keep rewinding. And, uh, whoa, why was he dark there? He was really cold. Okay, so there's just actually nothing there. That's weird, though, how he all of a sudden warms up. Oh, hey, look at that.
somewhere over here. Oh. Okay, we got it. Donna Gies. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Nice. So keep rewinding. So basically, I'm just rewinding until something pops up on the thing. <laughs> okay, there's something around here. Oh, over here. In the fridge, possibly? Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Alright. Let's continue to rewind. <laughs> okay. Something else. Oh, it's over here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Okay. And a head and say. Who's got the case here? Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Actually, I want to go on ahead and do this. Uh, optional thing where we scan the apartments. Things. Uh, yeah, there. That dude's huge. Anyways. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Alright, uh, okay, there's one more here. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Alright, then this guy. Uh, military grade cyberware. Danger extreme. Okay, we got that. Is there more? I guess there is more. Oh. So I'm just gonna fast forward until we get to the things. Alright, um... Where is this last one? If there is one. Because it's apparently... Okay. Oh. These things up here. Okay. And then this one. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in. Check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. All right, and then there's one more. Get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. All right. Got any candy left? All right, the last one is all the way at the end. Question is where? Oh, okay. Over here. Oh, the gun. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Oh, Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. All right, cool. Uh, we've done everything. That was pretty easy. Definitely not used to it, so that was a little weird for me. Get everything you need. <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. All right, cool. How nice of you. Judy seems pretty chill. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Huh. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. <laughs> Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax. I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. 
You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Fuck the Evelyn. Let's walk. Where are we going? Well, what do you think? Uh, so what now? Connection to... Yeah. What's its nature exactly? Not afraid they'll tie you to the highest. You sure everything's under the control? The intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. The plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. Alright, uh, so what now? Not afraid to tell you to the highest. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? Uh... Okay, I think one. I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle. All right. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to ways our You want to fuck over our fixer. I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman and a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. I like the second one. <laughs> if I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Nice, right, sweet. Let's go on ahead and go outside. Need to get some fresh air, as they say. Actually, I just want to go on ahead and get out of here. Actually. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out everyone's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Okay, I don't think the connection got the door. See you, Mr. V. All right, head to the afterlife. Well, we're not actually gonna do that because this video is getting quite long. Uh, I Come think on once I'm done editing, according to what I see already, it's going to be 
a little over an hour and a half probably a little bit more than that but anyways like i said i'm gonna end it here if you guys are enjoying give it a like and a comment tell me what you guys are thinking of the playthrough so far um i'm not able to upload the videos very consistently or not consistently but very quickly just because uh i'm not always able to be here at my computer but if you guys are liking it drop it a like and tell me if you guys have picked up the game and which uh which story path you picked but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys